What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick, where today I'm going to be telling you where I get my pieces for non-LEGO builds from, and how you can save money doing so. In the past, there were several places I would go and get kits from, but these things took time, and once I got the pieces, I had to do a lot of sorting anyway. Now this wasn't the case with like Mold King or whatever, but the thing is, I own all the instructions for the sets that I show off on my channel, and 99% of the time, those instructions come with part lists. And unfortunately for a while, there wasn't really a way to get non-LEGO pieces doing that, until recently, when Webrick came around. This is the company that I used to buy the pieces for my ATTE and for my Tumblr along with another gunship that will be coming relatively soon. On both occasions, mainly just talking about the ATTE and the Tumblr, I spent significantly less money than I would have buying all the pieces through Bricklink. BrickVault's ATTE has an estimated cost of about $400 to $425, including shipping on Bricklink, and this is usually what I got when I was looking. If you do like a little bit of extra work, you can get it down to about 350. However, I got about 85 or so percent of the pieces, I don't remember the exact number, but it was over 80% of the pieces from Webrick for only $140. I then had to spend about $50 getting the rest of the pieces off of Bricklink, but still, the total was only about $200 or half the cost of getting it in real LEGO. Again, I don't remember the exact numbers on that right now, but I'm pretty sure I talked about them in my ATT video, which I would recommend. It's actually a really wonderful set. And it's the same story with the Tumblr. I spent significantly less on it, and it's exactly the same. The pieces being non-LEGO had 0% of the effect on the actual build itself. So what exactly is Webrick then? Well, Webrick is a good resource for mock builds as they have over 30,000 parts and 50 plus colors, including some rare parts and rare colors as well. And they have a very convenient part list uploader for bulk ordering, which lets you do all of it with literally just one click. It is so, so easy. Easy. Now, I would recommend making an account if you're going to order from them as it, well, I think you have to anyway, it gives you all the information that you need, I would just do it. But if you want to upload a file and just see how much it costs, all you have to do is click upload a part list, choose your mode, and browse for file. It's literally that easy. It is literally easier than doing it on Bricklink. So what are these different modes? Well, the pure default mode means you don't care, you just want non-LEGO, doesn't matter from who, just do it. Pure Go Bricks means that you only want Go Bricks. Now, Go Bricks is like the non-LEGO brand that is 99% the same as LEGO. It's like Coke and Pepsi, you're not going to notice a difference between them. Even their Technic pieces are great. And I would know, I just built an entire Thunderjaw using Go Brick pieces, and it's wonderful. Now, doing pure Go Bricks may mean that they don't have some pieces you're looking for specifically from Go Bricks. So if you want to just prioritize them, but you're okay getting other brands as well, that's where the Go Bricks priority mode comes in. And this is what I usually use because it's what gives me the most amount of pieces. And then there's price priority mode, which is exactly what it sounds. Personally, like I said, I would recommend the Go Bricks priority. You're going to get really high quality for about 99% of your order anyway. Now, in the two orders that have come in, I have never had missing pieces or any sort of problem. They were all extremely high quality. The clutch was great. The Technic pieces worked. Everything was fine. And I was able to put the builds together perfectly fine. Nothing fell apart. Nothing was loose. Everything worked as if it was real Lego. With that one exception on the ATTE, which in all fairness is still a little bit of a weird piece connection in real LEGO, but switching that for the real LEGO was no problem at all. So if all of this sounds great, there is an affiliate link in the description down below, I need to disclose that, so this is me doing so. 
but if you want to save money off of your order, you can do so with the code OTBWB6. That's OTBWB6. Just put that in when you are checking out and you will save 6% off your order. So not only are you already saving money just from purchasing through them, but now you're going to be saving even more money and supporting the channel. So with that said, let's talk about the downside because there are some, but they're in like heavy quotation marks. Okay, so some small things first. They do not sell printed parts. So if you really want those, you're going to have to get them through BrickLink, or you can replace them with the non-printed version. It does actually say this right beneath the area to upload your file, but that is an unfortunate downside of non-LEGO. And the second problem that I talked about already is the fact that you're probably never going to get 100% of your order, at least not right now. And that does kind of suck a little bit, as I wish I could just get everything through them and have it all come together, but I understand it's just not possible. For instance, the Tumblr had a piece that is just never really used anywhere, and so of course I had to get it through BrickLink. Hopefully as time goes on, we break, and I guess the people making the pieces can start producing these ones that are a little more rare and continue to expand the catalog. Now, if you don't have a parts list and you still want non-LEGO pieces, you can just do that. They have a whole catalog over here with all the different areas that you can go through, look through, and you can get whatever you want. That's actually really awesome, and I really enjoy this. However, I keep having an issue when I try to go to the brick section where it just stops working. I have literally never been able to go to this page and have it work. Every time I click on this, I get a gateway error and it just crashes the entire website and I have to basically reload it 10 minutes later. I have no idea why this happens. Maybe it's something they can fix. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just kind of annoying. And then shipping. For my first two orders, I didn't actually have to pay for shipping, but for this new third one, I did, and I chose to pay the extra shipping for it to come out in 7 to 10 days. They're still putting it together, so I can't really say if it's going to take that long or not, but I certainly hope so. This is an issue I've had with some of the other non-LEGO vendors, where I will pay that extra for faster shipping and then I just don't get that faster shipping. So I hope that it's actually the case here with Webrick, and I'm pretty sure that it will be, considering the options they gave me. So honestly, yeah, like I said, most of these problems aren't really serious issues. They're things that you can work around. I mean, if you really only get 89% of your order, hey, you're still saving money on 89% of your order. I have done the calculations on about 30 different sets, and I've continuously checked them to make sure that it's updated, and on every single one, I will be saving so much money that it's not even worth looking at BrickLink anymore. Even having to go there to buy 20% of the pieces or whatever, it's just not worth even looking at the full price. But there is one actually kind of big negative that I want to talk about. It's only happened on this last order, but I also know it's happened to other people. And I'm just going to start by saying, this is not a problem that should exist, considering how the website works to begin with. So when putting in this last order, just like I did every time, I put in a parts list and Webrick automatically told me what pieces they had. All I had to do was say, add to cart, and then check out. And that's what I did. Now, this order was placed on April 13th, and on April 18th, I got an email from them saying that I was getting a refund for some of the pieces that they didn't have in stock. Now, they also gave me a list of all the pieces that weren't in stock, which was extremely helpful because I was able just to go to BrickLink and get them. But the downside is, I only got a $3 refund for those and had to pay $13 on BrickLink which is the whole point of going to Webrick in the first place. But the obvious question to ask here is how were those pieces out of stock after making my order? If they didn't have them, shouldn't they have not shown up at all? And while that sounds like it should be the case, it's really important to keep in mind, they get a lot of orders. They got over 600 orders in just the last month. So it's entirely possible that when I put my order in, it was in stock, but then orders that came before mine needed similar pieces. And fulfilling those orders made them run out of pieces, making it out of stock for me. 
So it's understandable, and they are very upfront that this is something they are going to fix. Just keep in mind, it is a possibility if you order through them. Also keep in mind, this was $3 worth of pieces on a $200 order. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Just one of those unfortunate things. But I really like these guys. I'm going to definitely continue ordering from them as long as their service remains as awesome as it has. And I have no reason to think it's going to change. They reached out to me completely independently asking me to make a video about them, which was something I was going to do anyway. But they're also really awesome enough to, again, give you guys that discount code, which you can use to save 6% off your orders, which, by the way, that coupon code does end May 13th, so please do make sure to use it before then. And again, that is OTBWB6, that's OTBWB6. So yeah, if you're interested in getting non-LEGO pieces, this is the first place that I would check. Or if you're interested in getting a non-LEGO part kit, but you want to skip the hassle yourself, let me know, because I'm really considering starting to do those for certain sets. And please do let me know your thoughts. Have you ever purchased with them? Have you had good or bad experiences? I would love to know in the comments down below. And also remember we need to appease the almighty YouTube algorithm, so please remember to hit like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can always check out that affiliate link, or you can check me out on Instagram, Discord, and of course on Patreon, where you can join all these wonderful people and get shoutouts like Jonathan. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.